Hello YouTube and welcome to this week's episode of Brainstorm where I give you a glimpse of what's new in the world of science. Our top story comes from the world of medicine where a new and effective malaria treatment may have been discovered with efforts from labs all over the European Union as well as countries severely affected by malaria. Previous attempts at developing a malaria treatment have been difficult due to the ability of the disease-causing parasite to develop a drug resistance. However, this new treatment would actually use a kind of chemotherapy drug which should work because the parasite actually hijacks certain enzymes within a cell to infect it. This particular kind of chemotherapy drugs inhibit the enzymes and are already used in clinical treatment of cancer. Although the chemotherapy obviously has some toxic side effects, it is most likely that a malaria treatment would require a lower dose than cancer treatment. And while there is still plenty of testing to be done, it is very promising. Our next story comes from the world of nanotechnology, where researchers at the University of Southern California have created an artificial synapse using carbon nanotubes. A synapse is the connection between two neurons in the brain, but for the artificial version, they simply created an extremely tiny circuit out of carbon nanotubes. Now, this artificial circuit doesn't quite have the flexibility of a living neuron, but they eventually hope to develop artificial brains and neurological prosthetics. While that kind of technology is still decades away, this first artificial synapse is still a big step. This next story is also about nanotechnology, but also relates to medicine, where researchers at the University of Michigan have developed biodegradable nanofiber spheres used to inject cells into wounds. These nanofiber spheres mimic the natural environment of the cell and stimulate regeneration. And this kind of technology is going to be extremely important in regenerative medicine, especially for complex shaped wounds. Our final story comes from the world of physics, also out of the University of Michigan with a potential breakthrough in solar power. For a long time, scientists have known that light has very faint electromagnetic properties, and so far that has been ignored. But now it turns out that when an extremely intense light beam travels through a non-conductive surface, it produces an electromagnetic field a hundred million times stronger than expected. This electromagnetic field can then be harvested for power. Research still needs to be done on making this technology practical, but could ultimately result in solar power that is cheaper to produce. Because the materials involved in producing power this way are a lot cheaper than conventional solar panels. Well, that's it for this week's episode of Brainstorm. I hope you enjoyed it. Please consider subscribing, and please check the links in the video description. Thanks for watching.